this year, Music Superstar The Weeknd sold his Hidden Hills mansion to the legendary Madonna for $19.3 million. While that home was impressive, he's just majorly upgraded to a Bel Air estate costing him a whopping $70 million in one of the priciest California home sales of this year. His new mega home sits on 1.6 acres overlooking the Bel Air Country Club and boasts features like a Turkish inspired spa, music studio and much more. Today we'll check out the weekend's new mansion, we even found the listings. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Abel Tesfay, better known by his stage name The Weeknd, is a singer, songwriter and record producer who hails from Toronto, Canada. He began his career making music back in 2009 and has experienced a ton of success, with over 75 million records sold and plenty of awards under his belt. At the time of this recording, The Weeknd's net worth is at $100 million or more and he's invested a chunk of that fortune in his new Bel Air Palace. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this one checking out the new $70 million mansion of the weekend. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. It was just reported that The Weeknd is the man behind the purchase of a luxury Los Angeles estate that sold for a massive $70 million, making one of the priciest home sales in the state so far this year. Located in Bel Air, Los Angeles, this upscale neighborhood is in the foothills of the Santa Monica Mountains and is a definite favorite amongst the rich and famous. The ritzy enclave has two stately entrance gates off of Sunset Boulevard which lead to the winding streets that are lined with lavish mansions. The neighborhood is also home to the famed Hotel Bel Air and the exclusive Bel Air Country Club which The Weeknd's new property directly overlooks. The music superstar's new estate is located in Lower Bel Air and it's a definite upsize from the home he sold earlier this year. The Weeknd purchased his mega mansion off of a Dutch celebrity couple who bought the existing home in 2015 for $21.4 million and completed a massive 3 year renovation on the place. This overhaul added 13,000 square feet of living space plus an indoor pool and spa among plenty of other upgrades that we'll take a look at. Not to mention, the former owners also changed the early 2000s Tuscan villa into a contemporary abode with modern furnishings collected from across the world. So all additions considered, that brought the price tag to $70 million which The Weeknd had no issues forking over. The estate is sprawled across 1.6 acres overlooking the country club on a super private island style piece of land and protected with double gates and a long driveway. Inside the mega mansion boasts a total of 33,000 square feet along with 9 bedrooms and countless bath and powder rooms. The glossy industrial vibe makes the home dramatic yet contemporary and there's still a Mediterranean feel to it. There's a beautiful formal living room with bold orange walls and an impressive double height marble fireplace which also boasts large windows and French doors to the yard. The dining room has an ornate light fixture overhead, another fireplace and coffered ceiling and I'm sure this palace has more than one room like this to entertain. Nearby there's also an industrial style office with the same coffered ceilings and room to get some work done. Nearly all of the common spaces in the weekend's mansion open up through floor to ceiling walls of glass to the terraces outside, making for the perfect indoor outdoor feel. There's also a gourmet kitchen with wood beam ceilings and while the space is massive, rustic accents also create a warm and inviting atmosphere. There are two large islands, plenty of storage space, cabinets and top of the line appliances. Meanwhile, sleek glass doors fully open to the sunny poolside. A sweeping staircase connects to the upper level where the weekend can settle in his luxury master retreat and much of the guest bedrooms are also located up here. Of course, $70 million sets you up with all the amenities one could dream of. There's a Turkish inspired hammam or spa which was quite the serene addition to the mansion and that even includes a stunning indoor pool. Elsewhere, there's a home movie theater, gym, and a music studio where the weekend can record some more hits. Walking outside, the grounds are equally impressive as the interiors and have been landscaped with every detail in mind. 
There are terraces all over for sunbathing, lounging, and entertaining, not to mention the outdoor spaces are also multi-level. The massive infinity pool has a waterfall that spills over to a lower level of the backyard, and there's also a covered patio with fire pits and full sports courts. If that's not enough, further away from the main attractions, there's even a grand pond on the weekend's property where he can go for some peaceful moments. Let's not forget that before this, the weekend had another beautiful mansion. His former abode was located in the gated community of Hidden Hills LA, a favorite among many celebrities, including the Kardashian-Jenner clan, of course, but he sold it to none other than Madonna in April 2021. Madonna purchased the three-acre spread for $19.3 million, while the weekend paid $18.2 million for it four years prior when it was brand new. The ultra-private estate was surrounded by redwood trees, grassy lawns, and sunny hillsides, while interiors were ideal for entertaining guests and for an intimate home life. The epic estate encompassed over 12,500 square feet spread between the main mansion and a guest house, with nine beds, nine full baths, and two half baths in total. The seven bedroom main house offered an entry hall with double height ceiling and two story wall windows, while many of the other interiors were white and bright, complemented with wood and stone accents. The floating staircase in the foyer had a piano tucked underneath and nearby the formal living room opened up to the backyard. The huge dining room had space to entertain an entire party with features to brag about, especially the flashy wine room with custom LED lights. The kitchen here had two massive marble islands with waterfall edges and stainless steel appliances, fairly similar to the weekend's kitchen at his new mansion. And right next to this was a sunny breakfast nook. If that's not enough, there was an entertainer's bar and the open plan family room that blended with the outdoor space thanks to disappearing walls of glass. Upstairs, there were dual master suites, which was a perk I'm sure Madonna is loving right now, and the main bedroom has its own entire wing. The weekend was living like royalty in this residence too, as the primary suite had a polished stone fireplace, two fitted walk-in closets, a private terrace, and a luxury bathroom. Other bonuses in the Hidden Hills home included a staff wing, large guest suite, home gym, office with black marble fireplace, and a home movie theater. And that's just inside. The secluded estate had much more to offer out on the grounds, including an open air pavilion with fireplace and outdoor kitchen, perfect for relaxing or entertaining friends. There was also a detached guest house with two bedrooms and a spacious barn, which was transformed into another flexible living space. If that's not enough, the four car garage or auto gallery as the listing materials say, also doubles as a personal nightclub thanks to the warehouse size of the space and violet LED lights. Beyond the pool house, the weekend's former estate also had a shaded terrace and a full-sized outdoor basketball court. So now we've taken a look at the weekend's new mansion and you've seen just what $70 million gets you in Bel Air. What did you guys think? Impressive or not worth that price tag? Honestly, I don't think any mansion is worth that insanity. If you want to splurge, what's wrong with spending like $7 million? I guess I'll just never understand. The Turkish spa and indoor pool were definitely super cool in the new house, but I thought the estate he sold to Madonna was just as fancy. I mean, a $19 million mansion just wasn't enough? Jeez. Either way, out of the weekend's two mansions, past and present, which would you prefer? I would pick the Hidden Hills one because the latest one is just a little too big for me. I would definitely get lost. Not to mention, I like the design style of the Hidden Hills one best for some reason. Be sure to let me know your choice down in the comments because I love hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.